Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today we're going to be going over my fall slash October favorites. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but today we do have a favorites video. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider click and subscribe button and give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So you guys, I have a few things to talk about today. I haven't done a favorites video in a little while, I feel like. So I'm very excited to show you all the things that I have been loving for the past few months. I say that it's like a fall favorites. So it's like the entirety of fall. But I know fall is still November as well, even though I consider November Christmas. <laughs> So I have a few different categories here. Of course, I have bags. I have some beauty stuff. I have some footwear. I have one clothing or two clothing pieces, three clothing pieces technically, and even some book recommendations that I have been obsessed with for the past month or so. So let's get started. So my first favorite should come as no surprise. It is definitely going to be my iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is in the titanium, of course, and I got it in the black. Kind of regretting I didn't get the natural color, but it's totally fine. It doesn't really matter. I might get it next year if they have that same color or whatever. But yeah, I do love the black as well. It's very chic, very stylish, so I'm really into that. But I have really enjoyed my iPhone 16, 15 Pro Max, and I know a lot of people have been having issues with it overheating and stuff. I haven't really found that issue. I think it did overheat just a tiny bit when I was like setting it up, but I haven't had any overheating issues other than the initial setup process. It sucks that people are having problems with it. Like you don't want your new phone to have so many issues, but I'm sure Apple will make like updates and fix the problems that it is having because I personally have not had any issues with the phone since I've got it. So yeah, iPhone 15 Pro Max is definitely going to be one of my top favorites. I have it in this leather case from The Daily Edited. It's got my name and like a little coffee cup. It's so cute. And I kind of want to use it without a case, but, but with how fragile this year's phone is, Maybe I should not do that. Oh, I do hate the fact that it's fragile. The phone is supposed to be like the most durable that it has been, and it's like one of the most fragile phones. That actually sucks a lot, but I'm enjoying it nonetheless. Next up, let's go into my few clothing favorites. I do have one pair of shoes, and it's more of like lounging shoes. These are not like really going out shoes. <laughs> These are like house shoes. <laughs> But I have been wearing them like every single day for the past month or so and I've been obsessed with them. So here's what they are. I actually had these in a different color before. I had these in like the cream chestnut color, but then I saw they had this beautiful dark brown color. I immediately bought these ones and returned my other ones. Um, but these are Uggs. These are Uggs slippers. I don't actually know the name as to what they're called. They're not the Tansman ones. They're just like full on slippers. But I absolutely love these. They're so comfy. They look amazing on as well. Now again, I don't really wear these out. I switch over to like my boot Uggs, my ultra classics, ultra minis, if I'm gonna go out anywhere and wear my Uggs, but these ones are just so cute. My second clothing favorite is, this isn't considered clothing, I guess it's kind of like a bra, but I recently got a new Skims bra and I am really loving it. I forget what exactly this is called, but I know it's like a plunge bra. It's one of their newest ones that they have. And it's cotton, I wanna say, and it's a plunge bra for sure, but it's so comfortable. There is an underwire in this one. So if you hate underwire, you won't like this. I like the underwire, but then again, it's also a tiny bit uncomfortable at times. Uh, when I first wore this, I did have a little bit of issue with the underwire under this side right here kind of hurting and like pressing into my side, but I don't have that issue anymore. I either got used to it or it stopped doing that. <laughs> so it's not a problem anymore. It feels great. It's not painful like up here. It's very comfortable to wear. So if you are in the market for another bra, then I would definitely recommend this one from Skims. And then my last clothing piece is actually going to be this sweater from it's actually the Pleasing brand from Harry Styles. I just love this sweater so much. It just says pleasing. I have it in an extra large and it's just so cozy. It's so comfy and it's really, really good quality. It's a very expensive screw neck. This is like a hundred dollars 
for a Harry Styles crew neck. I do think it was worth it, but it is very expensive. It's not too hot or like too much fabric. It's like just the right amount. I don't know how to explain it. I just really, really love this sweater. You'll know if you watch my vlogs. The first one that I bought was in a medium and I liked it a lot, but I didn't like the fact that it was a medium. Like I thought that it was gonna be much more oversized. So I gave that one to a friend and I rebought it in an extra large. So that's how much I liked it, even in the medium. I just loved the feel of it. Oh my God, wait, I actually have one more clothing item. I totally forgot. I have another pair of shoes and these are boots. These are some of my favorite boots that I have in my collection. I got these at the end of September, but I've already worn them so much. These are from Kate and they are like the Western style boots. And you can't really even see the design because they're so dark. They're like a super dark brown. Maybe you can see the design better, but it's so nice. I love like the Western type of style that they have to them. They've got like a really giant snout. I do like the big snout. It's very comfortable. I haven't worn them for like super extended periods of time. I've worn them for a few hours at a time and they haven't given me any issues so far. They do run a little bit small, I found. So that's just me because I do wear them with socks. And I wear them with like relatively thick socks. So that's pretty much it. I think these are beautiful. They are expensive, but I think that they're definitely worth it. And I think these Kate ones will last you a super long time. They are 100% going to be like my fall boot. I can imagine myself getting a ton of wear out of these during the fall and winter time. I've already been wearing them during fall. So winter, I'm going to wear them like every day. Okay, now let's actually go over one accessory really fast. It's these sunglasses. These ones are the Chanel sunglasses and they are the ones that have the beautiful beige detailing on the front. And they say Chanel right across the top and then it also has the beige like trim all along the arms. These are beautiful sunglasses. Definitely some of my favorites that I have in my collection. They have the Chanel logo on each side and they just look incredible on. Like they just look amazing. They fit very well out of the box. Like I haven't had to get these like reshapen or retightened or anything like that. They fit very nicely. I got a really good deal on these as well because I got them from like a, you know, like a sunglasses brand, not directly from Chanel, but kind of on the lines of like a sunglasses hut or something like that. So I got them for a pretty good discount in my opinion. They're definitely going to be like one of my fall pairs of sunglasses. Now going into a few beauty bits, I have these from Rode. I was not expecting to love these as much as I do, but these are literally some of my favorite lip balms at this point. I love these so much. These are the Rode Peptide Lip Treatments, but they're the lip tints. They, they just came out maybe a month ago, the lip tints, and I love them. I have every color, but these two are the ones that I use the most. This one is in the shade Toast. Such a beautiful nude color, it's amazing. And then this one is in the shade Ribbon. And I love this one as well. It's a very soft pink, but it's really beautiful. And it just makes your lips look amazing. It's definitely one of those like your lips but better kind of feel with these two, with the other two, the berry one or the raspberry jelly and the espresso. Those ones are a little more pigmented. So they definitely do give like a color color, but these two right here, they do give a small amount of color, but it really just reminds me of like your lips, but better. Very juicy, very glossy, very hydrated. I'm obsessed with these. I love them to literal bits and I can't wait for Rode to come out with more colors of these because I love them. Another beauty favorite is these, and these are from Olive Young. These are the Collagen Ampule Pads. They are by Metaheal, and they are the day and night, 24 seven, like toner pads. And I got these a few months ago, and I'm nearly finished with these. I use them every single day. There's my toner pads. So I have another box of these because when I ordered them, they came in a pack of two. So I've got an, a whole nother one of these that I need to go through before buying more, but they last you a long time. It comes with this little like tweezer looking thing. And these are just really, really nice toner pads. They do not dry my skin out. They actually really hydrate my skin. And then I put my other skincare on top of these and it's just 
really nice. I love these. I need to find other stuff from Metaheal as well because I know a lot of people love the Metaheal brand. This is a Korean skincare brand as well. Pretty much everything on Olive Young is Korean skincare. And like Korean skincare is so much better than like American skincare and everything. And then my last beauty product, it's gonna be these. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel pads these i was not expecting to like these as much as i do i am obsessed with these i use these every day you would think that they're too strong to use for every day but they're not they come in a little box like this and then you open it and then they look like this so you have two sides you have step one and then step two and then step one you rub it on your face and it does kind of burn a bit so it's okay but it does burn a little bit because it exfoliates and smooths so it really helps with like pores like minimizing pores and i have really saw a difference and then step two is anti-aging neutralizer i have really seen a huge difference in my skin since using these and I would highly recommend them. They are pricey, but Sephora is going to be doing their holiday like 20% off sale soon. I am filming this in October. So as I'm filming this, the Sephora sale should start soon. But yeah, I would highly recommend these if you have been thinking about them. They're fantastic. I really, really like them. I have dry skin, but this does not bother my dry skin. Like it's totally fine. I put my skincare on top, but it's, just great. I really like it. All right. And now let's go over a couple of bags that I've been obsessed with. Number one being this bag right here. This is the Sangmont Drippy Roof Bag. It's in the small size. I have been loving this bag so much. It is such a good handbag. I was not expecting to like this as much as I am. I wear this like all the time. It is like one of my everyday handbags. I love it so, so much. It fits everything that I could possibly need. I think it looks really cool. I get a lot of compliments on this bag. A lot of people that I meet or see go, oh my God, where did you get your bag? It's really interesting. And, and it is, it's such an interesting shape. It's so fun. I love the dip in the middle, kind of giving like Loewe puzzle vibes. I really am just like so surprised with this bag. I like it so much more than I ever thought that I would. If you are in the market for a new handbag, I would highly recommend Songmont. They do a lot of amazing types of bags. She also comes with a crossbody strap. I just don't use the crossbody strap ever. I don't feel like I need to, so. She has these little pockets on the back, or not on the back, but on each side. So you can fit like your phone as well. Just very versatile, very functional, love her to pieces. My second bag that I've been obsessed with and using like an actual butt ton is this Fendi baguette. I am so obsessed with my Fendi baguette. This is the in the embroidered multicolor and it's so beautiful. This bag, of course, fits a ton of stuff as well. Again, I never have any issues fitting all of my stuff in here. It's beautiful. It does come with a crossbody strap. It actually fits probably the same amount if not a little more than this bag but this bag fits a ton and she's just so nice she's so like beautiful and i love the ff print on here i would highly recommend this bag if you're into a fendi baguette i just think the fendi baguettes are so classic so timeless and i'm obsessed with this one last thing last two things i want to talk about really freaking fast I have gotten so obsessed and like back into reading. I'm so happy about it as well because I used to read a lot, but then I stopped and I'm back into reading. But I wanted to talk about my Kindle. I have this cute little sleeve that I got from Quirky Cup Collective on Instagram. But this is my Kindle. It's just the Kindle Paperwhite. I'm obsessed with her. I got her in green and I decorated the back. Got a little pop socket. If you have been wondering if you should get a Kindle, I would highly recommend it. It's amazing and you can fit so many books on here. It's so light to hold as well when you're reading. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It's just incredible. So if you are into reading and if you've been wanting to get a Kindle, also it's very easy to travel with, of course, the Kindle is so you don't have to carry around like a lot of books or anything. Highly recommend getting a Kindle. And then I wanted to quickly just talk about an amazing read that I just finished. 
and this is the house across the lake by Riley Seeger and this is like a six star read for me I just finished it last night and I am obsessed with this book it's one of the best books I've ever read I know that it has like not the best reviews on Goodreads and I understand why I get it the plot twist in this book I feel like could have turned a lot of people off I personally really enjoyed it. I thought that it was really fun and like super interesting and scary, but I understand why many people didn't like it, but I personally loved it. Definitely a six star read for me. It's a thriller. It's pretty scary in my opinion. I would highly recommend it if you are into thrillers, suspense books. It really keeps you on your toes and keeps you reading. Like Riley Sager does a really good job of ending each chapter on a cliffhanger, so it kind of makes you read more. Love this book. Highly recommend. I definitely need to go because my camera is going to overheat again. That's been my fall favorites. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments some things that you're obsessed with for the fall. Just leave me a comment down below telling me anything is a nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!